to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating Welcome back gals and guys Today we're looking at The Shining, the 1980 film from uh, Stanley Kubrick, based on the sort of based on the novel by Stephen King. If you know how much Stephen King hates this movie, um, or this version of the movie, at least of course, this is a 1986 VHS release. Like I said, down the package design 1986. Original release, as I said, 1980. Uh, I do like this movie. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, like I said, I've shown I, this is actually one I've shown on 35 millimeter before, and that's kind of a privilege to do so. Even though the copy that I showed was really beat up, even though it came straight from uh, Warner Brothers themselves, it was kind of tore up. 143 minutes, Warner Home Video. Uh, a lot of cool stuff about this movie. A lot of stuff that just doesn't make sense, but uh, I mean, it is one of the best horror films ever. I think one of the best haunted haunted house movies. Even though between the two, I'd probably take The Changeling as far as a haunted movie better. Uh, I do like all the conspiracy theories about the, the movie, like uh, that the documentary Room 237 kind of put out there. Um, Jack Nicholson's great. Scam and Crowlers is great. Shelley Duvall. I mean, there's a lot to like about this movie. Don't get me wrong. But as far as Kubrick films go, it's kind of a, of a departure. It's kind of strange for him to do. But uh, definitely not one of my favorite Kubricks. Um, but still a great watch. I mean... Nicholson is just incredible in this movie. Uh, this is a copy that was bought for me by a friend of mine. Uh, he got me a, a lot of movies the other day. Uh, the original copy that I owned was the Stanley Kubrick uh, collection copy of it. That was sort of slightly widescreen. Uh, but it really, Kubrick's later years widescreen is pretty much almost the same exact as 185 to barely even 185. But don't get me wrong, I like this movie. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, never read the novel. That's still on my list to do so. I probably pop this in every once, not this personal copy, but I probably watch this every every couple of years. I'll watch it. It's been a while since I've seen it since the last time. I think I don't think, even think I've seen it since I projected it on film back in I think 2014, 20 maybe even 2015. I ran this on no, it was 2014. I ran this on 35 millimeter, one of my theaters. But definitely a classic in its own right. It, de it deserves um, its place in history of film. But let me know what you guys think. Did you see it in 1980 when it first came out? Did you see it subsequently since digitally on Blu-ray? Did you see it in 35mm at a repertory screening? Uh, let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.